because I know most of you kind of wanted just a quick overview of how this mower works. I'll just leave that here at the beginning. The rest of the video will have obviously a lot more detail of how I assemble it and how I use it in my yard. But long story short, man, this thing is a beast for a, you know, a medium sized yard. It's 21 inches wide, gas powered, and uh, the user manual is easy to understand. And I use this thing on my entire yard, which took me, it's, you know, less than a quarter of an acre. It took me less than an hour to mow and, you know, feel good about it all. It mulches well and it spits out the grass really efficiently. It's all really easy to assemble. I'm really, really pleased with this. It gets really, really short to the ground. I'm talking maybe an inch high of grass. And you can also raise it to, I think, about uh, four inches. Don't quote me on that, but you can raise it really high. Um, so again, really pleased. I love having my grass cut short. I love having it mulch perfectly. And this mower seems to do it all. So follow the rest of the video, which will explain more. And you can actually see the mower in action. But uh, that's my quick review of this mower. This is a review and assembly instructions for the Troy Built TB100. You can see I just purchased this at Home Depot. I'm gonna take it out of the box and get it assembled here. Okay, so when you open up the TB100 for the first time, it comes with the following things. First, it comes with a pre-installed mulcher on the side here. If you ever need to install the, uh, I don't know what you call this, the grass spitter outer, you got this guy here. You can always put that on there. Um, you have the oil that you can apply automatically. If you ever need to add extra engine oil, just grab the 4-cycle SAE30 um, and you should be good to go in the future. But really happy that they added oil. Uh, it also comes with obviously the manuals. There's a, a one-pager that you can easily follow to get started. Most of this is common sense anyway, but of course you're going to want to read the operations manual to remember you know, the blade size, the, uh, the oil type, you know, the gas type, etc. Um, it takes normal gasoline. I just literally grabbed, you know, I think it's 87 um, at the gas station and everything else comes pre-assembled. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, follow this user guide and I'll get this set up. So this is exactly how it came out of the box, just like this. So let's go ahead and get it started. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a voiceover as you see me go through this because I had to read the manual as I put this together. So I'll make sure I voice over what the heck's going on. So first of all, I always have the manual out. Now the handles are set so that they're low into the mower. You need to actually pull the handle out so that it releases the blade and also that the handle is extended. So they have these little nubs at the bottom of the handle that you just simply take out and pull out, lift the handle up, and then slot them back in the slot with the handle extended. It's pretty straightforward. Once you release those two nubs at the back, you'll see exactly what I mean. So here you can see I'm taking out the handles, pulling them back, and I'm simply plopping those back in. Pretty straightforward. Now that those are back in, simply the blade will not be hitting that little handlebar, and um, the 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 actual handle is going to be extended to the actual normal human reach. So now what you see me doing is I'm simply connecting the side bolts that make sure that the handle won't fold down on me, so it stays firm, so that when I push it, it stays straight. That's all that is. You'll see that there's three holes uh, available for you to tie it into. And uh, when you put the bolt in there, it self-locks itself so that when you spin on the red hand tightener, it will automatically spin right on. Very straightforward. So now what you see me doing is I'm going to take the pulley, the little handle to start the mower. I'm simply going to attach it to the available knob on the far right side. It's pretty straightforward. Just make sure you loosen it and pop that sucker right in there and it'll rest very easily on the right side of the handle. Now one thing that really had me frustrated is this piece right here. If this piece is not in the handle for you, it most likely isn't, you gotta put it in. It looks like this, all right? And the way you get it in there is you have to pop out this, pop this out for a second so it temporarily kind of loosens the handle up and you can easily pull that out to put that in or whatever you gotta do. So just so you know, if this is out, this is what it looks like. Hang on, let me focus it up. Sorry about this. That's how it goes in. It's actually really straightforward, and now it works just fine. Okay? The other hard part is getting this thing out, man. It's so tight in there, and it's not even really telling me how to get it out. All right, I finally got it just by finally hammering this thing. Man, it took forever to unscrew. I just had to hammer the side of it to make it unscrew. Man, that was frustrating. Way too tight. This should only be hand tight, you know? All right, so now I can tell there is absolutely no oil, just like the car. So I'm gonna fill it with the uh, oil they provided with and recheck it. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me check the level. 
Oh, man, it's hot. Yeah, my levels are, they are good. All right, now it says here, fill with fresh unleaded oil. Sorry, fill with fresh unleaded fuel. Use unleaded fuel not more than 30 days old. Yeah, that's normal, okay. So let me fill that sucker up. Got my fuel here. Opening the fuel can. All right, fill the sucker up. So that seems to have used about half a gallon of oil, of fuel. And close the sucker up. Okay, so they made this, the spitter router, really easy to install. All you gotta do is, the mulcher is already attached, right? All I gotta do is hold this up, and right here, it just gets placed on top. You see these little notches? I simply take those notches and put it underneath that bolt, and it's connected. Literally, it took me two seconds, and it's on there, okay? Now, as far as the depth, okay, it comes in, what I like about this mower is actually you can adjust the back and the front, but basically it comes defaulted in the lowest setting, so this bar all the way up is low, that bar all the way up is low. If you pop this and pull it back, it raises the wheels on the back, pop that and raises the wheels on the front. So I'm gonna keep it in the lowest setting because that's what I've always cut my lawn at, and let's how, see how this goes. All right, so now basically it says, pull this back here, the handle, and while staying behind the mower, hold the blade, control against the upper handle, grasp the recoil oil, and pull with quick forearm stroke. Woo! All right, so feel free to speed this part of the video up, but I'm gonna mow this grass here, which is four to six inches high, and uh, I have the mulcher on. I don't, I don't have the, uh, the spitter router on, so I'm gonna use this. Let's just see how it does, all right? So first review, my grass is a little bit too tall for that mulcher to handle. I gotta go a lot slower. If that happens again where it dies out on me, I'm gonna have to switch over to the spitter router. transmission kind of a thing you got to push it use some mobile grease but I'm freaking satisfied with that oh, I love gas motors man awesome here's some quick end results if you want to just take a che check high grass all mulched I'm feeling really good about it and then of course down here as well all nicely mulched Then you have the front of the house, nicely mulched as well. I'm pleased with this mower. So let me just say for my yard, which you just saw, this is the mower that I am gonna keep. It doesn't have a bag, I'm okay with that. It's only $250, I'll leave the link to the product that I bought at Home Depot in the uh, comments below. But this product is really everything I need. It's gas, it doesn't die on you, you don't need to replace batteries, it's got the power to handle a thicker lawn. I'm, I'm really happy for this type of mower. It's for a neighborhood lawn. If you have concerns about the type of gas you can put in this or the oil, just refer to this owner's manual, the operations manual, I guess you can call it. Not only does it have um, vivid descriptions on every single part of the engine itself, but it actually tells you what kind of gas you can have. If you're in America, 87 get 87 gas it'll work fine and the oil uh in this it also talks about the oil it even has like a little image right here um sae 30 is most likely the one you're going to get sae 30 it says that uh it's operational and usable easily 
but as long as you're like mowing above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if not, maybe just go to another type, but it tells you very clearly like what oil is best for the temperature that you're going to most likely use a lawnmower in. So hopefully that gives you a peace of mind. So if you're like me where you're not really sure how to take care of an engine, I'm really not the best with cars and I really require like a recipe to take care of it. Let me just show you in, in this manual what it says. Um, annually, every year, do this. Replace the spark plug. Replace the air filter. Replace pre-cleaner if equipped. I have no idea what that is, but I'm, I'll read this. Uh, service the cooling system and check valve clearance. And it has um, descriptions of where all this is uh, with really clear figures and everything. Uh, the air filter, by the way, it's just, once you take it off, you can just go to Home Depot, buy a new one. Same with spark plugs. All this material is at Home Depot. Um, how to take care of the blade. That's in here. It'll take any generic 21-inch blade. Just pop it on. In fact, you can even sharpen the blade with like a file. You can sharpen blades like that. So I hope that this gives you some peace of mind to use your uh, tool for the first time. Now, there's one other leaflet that comes with it. If you want more peace of mind, that actually has all of the descriptions of the replacement parts for your tool. So if you are really savvy with your mower, uh, just refer to this, contact product support, and just say, hey, I need these wheels. I need, you know, this discharge chute, whatever that means. All right, at this point, if you're still watching, you're really, really kind and listening to me. I'll put it at that, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. And if you have any experiences with it yourself, please leave that in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.